Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to use the Fetch API in JavaScript to call GraphQL endpoints. Okay, so right here I've got this very basic GraphQL server running locally and I can, for example, uh, fetch a list of 150 users. Okay, so right here uh, we have just some sample data, so nothing too special going on here. Um, but also we can see that I've got inside my query um, for the user, I've got the ability to specify a variable for their name starts with. Okay, so we're also going to be exploring how to provide variables with the JavaScript. Okay, so going inside this, uh, this tab right here, I've got this button. So now uh, when I press this button, I'm going to be calling uh, the GraphQL server and just showing the data in the console to the right side here. And of course, we're going to be doing that using fetch. So, going inside the text editor, uh, I've got this function right here which runs on button click. So, inside this function, let's begin. So, the first step is going to be to declare a constant for our query. Okay, so for example, we can just say right here, uh, const query is equal to, and now we're going to be using uh, the back tick next to my one on the keyboard to give us a multi-line string. So I can now press down and I can start writing out my GraphQL query. Okay, so I can, for example, say here query, then I can say user, and I'm going to be leaving the variables to last. So let's just say user right here. Then we're going to say, let's grab the ID, the first name, the last name, and let's also just grab the city that this particular user is from. Okay, so this right here is going to be our query. So now, going down here, let's use the fetch API. So for this, we're going to be saying fetch. We're going to be fetching to, of course, HTTP uh, localhost on port 4000 forward slash GraphQL. Okay, then as the second argument here, passing through our fetch request init. Okay, so for this, of course, using GraphQL, we need to provide a method of post. Okay, so quite self-explanatory there. Uh, for the headers, we're going to be uh, both sending and receiving uh, JSON. So right here, we're just going to say uh, for uh, the content dash type, we're telling the server we're going to be sending through JSON. So we're going to say content type is equal to or is specified as application forward slash JSON. Let's do the exact same thing here, this time for the accept header, which means we want to receive back some JSON. Okay, cool. So now moving down for the interesting part, uh, we come to the body. So for the body of our request, of course, this needs to be, uh, you know, specifying our query as well as our data, or sorry, our variables, if we, if we were to add those in. Okay, so right here for the body, we're going to be saying json.stringify. So basically converting this object right inside here into JSON for the body. So here we're going to be simply specifying our query. So we're going to say query just like this. So of course, by writing out query, because this has the same name as our constant up here, uh, it's the same as just doing query is query. So it's just a shorthand version of doing this if I were to just specify query. Okay, so we can then just drop down here after the fetch call and we can say dot then. We're going to be grabbing onto the response, okay, from the server side. Then, of course, since we are accepting JSON here, the server should respond back with JSON. So we're going to say return response.json. Then, uh, once we have our JSON, you know, converted from a string into an actual JavaScript object, we can say then, okay, and now we can grab onto the data. So, uh, grabbing onto the data right here, we can then just say console.log data. Okay, so um, if I save this now and go into the browser, we are basically done. So in the browser, then I click on the button. We can see here we get back the data inside the console for all of our 150 users. Okay, so going inside the network tab here of the developer tools, we can see if I just maybe zoom out a little bit here. We can see that the GraphQL, uh, you know, request has gone through. We have the content type uh, set in the request uh, and all this kind of thing. So it's all working perfectly fine. Okay. 
Now, just a quick overview for those of you who haven't used fetch before. Um, we can see here that essentially we're just specifying the request in this first section as well as the method headers and body. And then in the last two uh, parts right down here, we're saying dot then. So once the response comes back from the server side, we're converting it to JSON. Then once we have the JSON converted, we've got this native JavaScript object for the data. All right, so now let's explore passing through variables. So let's modify the query and uh, declare a variable for the name starts with, uh, you know, string. So we're going to say right here, our dollar sign name starts with, that's going to be of type string. Then uh, actually, this needs to be right up here. My mistake. Sorry, guys. So inside brackets right there. So that is our declaration. So now inside here, we can just say, uh, you know, name starts with without the dollar sign and just passing through here, name starts with. So there we go, our GraphQL variable. So now to, of course, provide the data for the name starts with variable right up here, we can simply go down in our body, add a second, uh, you know, property to this JSON uh, object. And we're going to be saying here variables then passing through uh, another object and this object right here will contain a name starts with and we can say as an example D. So now saving this right here, going back in the browser and then refreshing or sorry, clicking on the button, we can see the data comes back for all my uses that begin with a letter of D. So there we go guys, that's how to, uh, that is how to uh, call a fetch, sorry, call a GraphQL API uh, using the fetch API in JavaScript. Thanks for watching. If today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.